So the gamer decided to post an article about Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. It's titled, Five Nights at Freddy's is a parody of itself now. Security breach pushes the series in a new direction, but it's repeating the same old jokes. Now you're probably thinking, okay, the writer didn't enjoy the game, which of course, that's their opinion. But then, as you read the article, they go on to insult Scott Cawthon, not just once, not just twice, but three times. I'm going to read you some of the quotes here in this article, just to provide you some context here. Over-reliance on jump scares aside, the early Five Nights at Freddy's games hold up too, but the horror feels lacking in the latest edition, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. These days, the only thing scary about the game is creator Scott Cawthon's political views. Zing! I bet you the writer thought they were clever when they wrote that in. It just goes to show you how pathetic these people truly are, and that they have to take every opportunity to defame Scott Cawthon. But trust me when I say that ain't even the worst part of this article. Brace yourselves, people. There have been a few changes for Security Breach. For one, it allows you to space to free roam and is set in a mall rather than the classic pizzeria. It also consists of just one night as opposed to the usual five. I'm all for games taking risks with their direction, but all three of these elements reduce the fear in Five Nights at Freddy's, or should I say one night at a place that isn't even Freddy's. FNAF at its best leaves you feeling claustrophobic, like you're trapped in a room at the Capitol building while armed assailants threaten to tear down U.S. democracy. Zing again, two in a row. Seriously though, Cawthon is just terrible. Yeah, you could clearly tell that this writer has a political bias with this franchise. Like, just the fact that she keeps jabbing Scott and the fact that she brings up the Capitol riots, which happened last year, which has nothing to do with Scott Cawthon, nor does it have anything to do with FNAF. But yeah, let's just throw the Capitol rights in there so that way we could say that Scott is a terrible person. And you wonder why gamers don't respect gaming journalists. It's because of bullshit like this. Attacking the developer because how dare he has different political views than me. And then you go on to say at the end of your article that Scott Cawthon sucks. Which makes me think that this article was written by Jim Stephanie Sterling. But it was actually written by one of the editor-in-chiefs at The Gamer. Which just goes to show you where their ethics lie. But yeah, none of these opinions that this writer puts in this article have any merit at all. It feels like they've never actually played a Five Nights at Freddy's game. And not only that, they didn't get rid of the main theme of the game, which is you have killer animatronics that are chasing after you. Only this time, you can actually run away from them in a 3D environment, which is actually really cool, and you can interact with a lot of things in this environment. Which, by the way, I still haven't played FNAF Security Breach, but I've heard some really good things about this game. So I may actually pick this game up once I get the chance to. But nevertheless... Let this be a lesson to people. Gaming journalists will never have your best interests in mind when they review a game. It's usually from a biased perspective. All because the creator of this game has different views from them. Therefore, in their eyes, this game is not good. And the fact that they would go out of their way to poke jabs at Scott Cawthon and bring up the fucking Capitol Riot which Scott Cawthon had nothing to do with. But of course, it's these type of people that assume that since Scott is Republican, he supports the Capitol riot. But what they fail to realize is that they are making themselves out to be the bigger boogeyman than the boogeyman that they are trying to make. So all in all, this was a trashy piece that serves nothing to tell you whether or not you should play this game for yourselves. Which I think that you should play this game for yourselves and have your own opinions about the game. But nevertheless, that's really all I have to say about this. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a like on this video, and comment in the comment section below. This has been PC signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.